Ladies and gentlemen, solar energy is great, okay? It's saving the planet, saving us from using non-renewable resources, but instead of switching people over from X to Y without their consent, like the power companies can and they do, I think that they should at least have you give your consent. <sighs> Yesterday, my dad got an email from our energy provider saying that we are being switched over to windmill energy and our price per kilowatt hour going up from 10.2 cents per kilowatt and adding 50%. So 50% of 10.2 is 5.1, so we're paying 15.3 cents per kilowatt now. 10.2 is higher than the national average anyways. The national average like is like 7 cents per kilowatt hour or something. I'm pretty sure it's about there. Yeah, now we're just casually sitting at 15.3 cents. <sighs> it's, it's, it's great. We're saving the planet against our will. Because it's like, yeah, we're going to run out of oil and coal and whatever sometime. But essentially what it is, is who knows, maybe we're not even using solar energy and wind energy. That's just an assumption my dad and I made. And that's why we thought the prices are higher. But who knows, it might just be another tax. Pay off our national debt or whatever. Which is, in my opinion, better. Because if we pay off the national debt, we can build more windmill sites. We can build more solar energy sites. The value of the dollar will go up, right? Which is true. All that stuff's true. If we're paying off the national debt, that's absolutely great. And I am 100% in favor for it, even though it's not my money. But if it's still the same price when I turn 18 and I start paying for energy, I will be 100% in favor of it if we're paying off the national debt. That'll drive the value of the dollar up. That will give the country more money to build these sites. But I don't think they should really be focusing on building these sites. Unless it's a private company who has money or until the country pays off all of the debt because we're like 29 trillion dollars in debt or something actually give me a second great we're 28 trillion dollars in debt <sighs> but that, that that's just what we owe as of right now we've already had a bunch of it relieved and look at this okay look at this okay we are 28 trillion dollars in debt and we've either paid off or relieved, just had it relieved by whoever, over a hundred trillion dollars we've had our national debt relieved. And in order to pay this off, each, I don't know what exactly this means, but each taxpayer's share, so I'm assuming every household, like obviously my mom and dad both pay taxes, but my dad does them all, so they're going to get approximately $1,710,000 from each family. Assuming there's two parents. And I don't really care about how many children because that's just a liability. But, um, yeah. So that's pretty high. That's like, my dad makes quite a bit. I'll leave it at that. That's about four years of work for him. Like, he makes, like, triple what the average person does. And that's still about four years of work for him. And you can see it's just growing by the minute. <laughs> I know, man. We got, we got to have... I feel like we just need a president to completely relieve it, you know? Completely relieve the national debt. It's just... Instead of switching us over to solar and wind energy, I feel like they need to focus on this first. Whether or not this is whoever, I don't even know, our energy provider. Let's just use DTE, for example. Let's say DTE Energy is our internet provider. Or not our, Jesus Christ, energy provider, okay? That's great that they're switching us over to solar energy and wind energy. But it's like, they should ask if we want to be switched over because, I mean, yeah, my dad makes a lot, but he's trying to pay off our house. Like, our house is almost paid off. We've lived in this house for eight years and we have a 30-year plan or mortgage or whatever. And it's going to be paid off by year 10 because my dad has paid never paid the minimum payment the minimum payments like 1500 a month or something my dad has always paid double the minimum payment so yeah i don't even know how much he pays but he made it so that it gets paid off in 10 years yeah he, so he's paying like about 2500 a month on our house and um it should take about 9.9996666666 repeating months 
So it's not going to take infinite, so that's just about, that's about 10 years. It's pretty much exactly 10 years, maybe like 5 seconds before. But, uh, yeah. So that's going to put a dent in our plan, because now we, we paid about 10, what did I say, 10.2? Yeah, we paid about, we, we paid about 10.2 cents per kilowatt hour. So if I'm playing Fortnite, my, I have a pretty high-end computer. It draws quite a bit of power. I'd say that between my CPU, it's an 65 watt part but it can draw up to 85 watts if it needs to it usually stays at about 40 50 so let's open up a calculator so 40 let's just meet it in the middle 45 plus graphics card i'd say playing fortnite my graphics card's at about 80 percent usage i'd say it's using about 80 percent of 220 which is like what 180 i think it's 176 plus 176 plus about 50 watts for um everything the leds plus i think it's 10 watts for my hard drive then plus five two times for my ssd i think it's about 291 watts so it's definitely less usage than i thought but then again it's only bronze efficient it's, that's what it only needs to use but bronze efficiency is not that great i mean it's obviously better than white but it's not great by any means it's good but it's not great if you know what i mean gold's on the lower end of good I'd say when you get into platinum and titanium, that's where great starts. So 291 for efficiency. I think bronze is 80% efficient. So add another 20% to 291. Hey, 2040, that's about 60 more watts. So we'll just do 57 more watts. And that gives us about 350, 350 watts. If I'm playing my game, I use 350 watts in one hour or whatever. I guess that's the kilowatt hour conversion. So if I use 348 watts consistently, which never happens, you're not ever going to use X amount of watts consistently. <sighs> so if I'm using 348 watts after an hour of gaming and then streaming just adds even more load because that adds even more power consumption to the GPU. If we just take 1000, divide it by roughly, well, let's just do 348 because I'm just going to say standard gameplay. It's about 2.87 hours of gameplay that... I would have had to pay 10.2, or my parents would have had to pay 10.2 cents for, which is already high because the national average is like 7 or 8 cents. Now with this whole wind energy thing, we are paying 50% more, so we're paying 150% of 10.2, which is 15.3, because you have to add it. So we're paying 15.3 cents for 2.87 hours of gaming. 100 divided by 15, that's about 6.66 six repeating so six point six and two thirds so if we multiply this by six point six six seven so 19 hours of gaming gives us one dollar or just yeah so it's it's pretty high for electricity costs it's i don't know i i just don't know i don't know how this is gonna affect my streaming schedule my video schedule because those growth are already pretty shit Honestly, it's probably just going to make them worse because now we're paying 50% more for electricity, which 10.2 cents does not sound a lot. 16 or 15.3 cents does not sound a lot. When you factor in that we're now paying 50% more than we were before, you realize it kind of sucks. Thank you for sticking with me on this rant, I guess. And um, we're being forced to pay more, which I think is kind of a scam, you know? So, yeah. Thank you guys for listening to my rant, and uh, that's it for me for today. I'm out. Peace.
nice shot. Got one, yeah, they're both cracked. 